Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome to today's announcements. My name is Avin Santos, and I'm going to be your host this week. As we adjust to our new temporary schedule and face new problems, we must remember that we are all in this together. And today's announcements will be covering FAFSA, ACT, food banks, and so much more. Good morning, everyone. I'm Violet. Grab and go lunches will be available from 11.30 to 12.30 outside the band doors at the back of the high school, which is door 18. You must have your lunch number to get these lunches. Morning, I'm Elijah with your Hot Dog Sports. The football team had outstanding effort this past Friday against a very good Danville team. We started off to a rough start. However, the team settled down and started making plays. Our offense scored the most that Danville has allowed all year. Riley Goodnight had 44 rushing yards and touchdown. Sam Michael had 74 yards passing with touchdown to Kyle Earl to close out the game. The offensive line struggled to get the inside running game going, but did an excellent job in pass protection. Jade Ayers had several huge catches and explosive runs after the reception. The defense was led by Reese Mitchell with 10 tackles. Bryce McDonald and Jade Ayers both had an interception. And Reese recovered a fumble on the punt. For the year, the Frankfurt defense has created 16 turnovers. The dogs will be in action this this Friday against North Montgomery. The boys team finished third at the Sagmore Conference Championship meet, while the girls finished fourth. First all-team Sagmore Conference for the boys were Daniel Pritchett finished second, Josue Bautista finishing in seventh, and Angel Perez in twelfth. The girls team had for one first team first team all Sagmore Conference run with Korea all in each finishing in sixth place, while. Alexis Regill was second team all conference with her fish in 19th place. Good job, girls. And good job to all the teams that competed this weekend. That's it for sports. This pandemic is hard on everyone. It has changed everything. It is challenging our mental and social health and so much more. Some families are even struggling to put food on the table. United Way is here to help. On Friday, October 9th at 11 a.m., there will be a mobile food bank at the Frankfurt Boys and Girls Club at 1100 Green Street. Food Finders Food Bank Mobile Pantry will be distributing food, including fresh produce, an assortment of frozen items, essential non-perishable items, and breads to people in need of the Clinton County area. This food bank is available for anyone in need of emergency food assistance in Frankfurt and the surrounding areas. You can call Food Finders at 765-471-0062 for income guidelines. There is also more information available in the hot dog chatter. If your family or family you know is struggling, please share this information. Friday's trivia answer was zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. Congratulations to Ariana McCann. In the spirit of Halloween, the trivia question for the day is, what is a group of witches called? Seniors, do you love money? I sure do. It is time to find free money to help us continue our education. FAFSA, free application for federal student aid, is open and will remain open until April 15th of 2021. It is encouraged for all Hoosier seniors with an interest in pursuing education and training to follow the FAFSA because paying for college is one of the most common barriers for students wanting to continue their education. Filing the FAFSA is required for many Indiana scholarships and grants, such as the 21st Century Scholarship and the Frank O'Brannon Grant. And many colleges require completed FAFSA to award merit and need-based scholarships. You can find all the information you need to file your FAFSA in the chatter. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Hey, it's Lucy. The 2020 election is just around the corner. Students that will be 18 by November 3rd can register to online. You just need a valid Indiana license or ID. Register now by visiting indianavoters.n.org. Click register to vote and complete the short application. The deadline to register is today. Reminder that the ACT scheduled for October 10th is still on. You will enter through door number two. I'd like to give a happy birthday shout out to Luke Scorch and Kaden Lau. This wraps up today's announcements and make sure to stay motivated to do your work and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.